So let's talk gaps for just a second, because sometimes these gaps can get kind of confusing, and they don't necessarily need to be. So the first one that we're going to talk about, because it's easier, is just the anion gap. So the anion gap is basically the difference between my positively charged elements and my negatively charged elements. And we know that the positively charged elements that play the biggest role in the body are sodium and potassium. The negatively charged guys that play the biggest role are chloride and HCO3, or our bicarbonate ion. And so all we need to do, really, is we add the sodium plus the potassium, and we subtract from that the chloride plus the bicarb. And so typically we're going to get gaps of anywhere from 0 to 10. The nice thing that uh, when we're calculating this is that all of these values are essentially the same units. You may see these guys measured as milli equivalents per liter or maybe milli moles per liter but when we're talking about sodium and potassium remember their valence is just one so milli equivalents and milli moles are the same. So I simply take this plus this or the sodium plus the potassium and then subtract from that total um, the chlorine or chloride plus bicarbonate. So normal for this guy, 0 to 10, and the units is always millimoles per liter.